current evidence shows that adding vibration to release techniques improves delayed onset muscle soreness, which we just talked about, pain pressure sensitivity, which we actually already know from the AL studies I discussed before, right? So vib vibration release actually kind of hurts less than foam rolling, uh, foam rolling alone, I guess. How many of you guys have tried, I can't see your hands, uh, but how many of you guys have tried like doing something like a racquetball in your calf? Yeah, right. So you do the racquetball release on your calf, like we all do it. A lot of us do it anyway. Uh, you got those trigger points and maybe soreness from doing your, your cardio or some leg workout or playing ball like I do, right? And it's interesting that a racquetball will hurt more than a vibrating sphere. Like, huh. The theory is that it works on that gate system of pain or that gate theory of pain that we all learned with the, uh, the electro stimulation, right? Theory is that those two things are, are working through similar mechanisms, but uh, something for you guys to experiment with, try a foam roll, try a vibrating foam roll, try a sphere and try a vibrating sphere. Uh, I think you'll find that comparing the two, the modality that vibrates will actually cause you a little less pain. Of course, for our clients, that's awesome because when you tell them to roll anything, they kind of look at you like you have two heads. They're like, why are you bringing pain? I came here to get out of pain. Um, proprioception, there is something interesting with adding vibration to release techniques where we have a slight increase in proprioception when we compare it to foam rolling alone, uh, probably because it's exciting our nervous system a little bit, which of course is great when we think about doing this as part of a warm up. Right, so some of us think about release techniques for recovery and post-workout, but the way we use it at the Brookbush Institute mostly is actually that corrective um, or movement prep intervention preparation before any sort of conditioning or performance training. So the idea that vibration is not only going to release the muscles that we've assessed as overactive, but then help us with proprioception as we move into our warm-up and our conditioning that's, that's a big deal. That, that could definitely have some long-term effects. And of course, we see a slight increase in range of motion when we add vibration to foam rolling. So foam rolling increases range of motion, generally speaking. Um, we know that vibration and foam rolling increases range of motion a little more. So we get a little added benefit there.